Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight at 530. I'm Sarah Horakowitz and here's some of the stories we're bringing to you tonight. As our community recovers from last month's tornadoes, there are warnings about potential storm relief scams tonight. How lost pet scams are popping up in the area. Plus, more candidates are announcing potential presidential bids. We'll take a look at the campaigns, including former Governor Asa Hutchinson's. And Sarah Huckabee Sanders hit her 100 day milestone last week. Later, we'll share her thoughts on the journey through her first few months in office. But first, we're going to send it on over to meteorologist Nathan Scott, who joins us tonight. Nathan, it was a pretty chilly day today. Good evening, Sarah. Yes, it was unseasonably chilly out there for late April. In fact, it was the coldest high temperature that we have seen on this date pretty much on record. It was 57. That's what it was before back in 1884 with the coldest number. Today's high only topped out at 56 degrees and it's all because of the clouds and rain that we had across a large part of Arkansas. But you see that back edge of the clouds sinking its way down to the south. Temperatures warmed up to the 60s in Clinton and Fort Smith. But as those clouds clear out, that's going to set the stage up for the potential of some patchy frost. Less the rain scooting its way through southeast Arkansas. The winds will be dying down, especially in those valleys. And we do have a frost advisory in effect as far south as Van Buren County, Cleburne County and northern parts of Pope County. So if you planted any tomatoes or peppers or annuals in those areas, you have to protect them because temperatures will sink down into the low to mid 30s to begin your Monday here in the Metro. No concerns about a frost or freeze. Temperatures will be well above freezing. I'll have more on the forecast for the new work week coming up. Thank you, Nathan. Today, the Pulaski County Sheriff's Office made an arrest in a homicide investigation. Police responded to a call about a shooting on Samansky Road this morning. That's where 67 year old Donald Payne surrendered to officers. Officials say his wife Karen Payne died. Mr. Payne is charged with first degree murder and he's being held without bond. As tornado recovery and relief efforts continue here in central Arkansas, organizations like Friends of the Animal Village are warning of pet scams on social media. Tonight, THV 11's Jalissa Garza gives us a closer look at what those scams look like and how you can avoid them. Like many organizations, Friends of the Animal Village has been doing what they can for those impacted by the March tornado. Their focus, though, is on pets. Actually, just yesterday, uh, the demolition team at Calais Apartments on Napa Valley Drive in Little Rock found a dog in an apartment closet alive and well. Betsy Robb with the nonprofit says luckily they were able to reunite the dog with their family, something they hope to continue doing for others. Things like microchips and Facebook make that a lot easier. Although social media is a big help, it's also the most common place for scammers to take advantage of people who are just trying to help. These scammers, they depend on people being kind hearted and emotionally vulnerable. Rob says what scammers are posting look like typical lost and found posts you see. Saying, you know, I found this dog, he was just hit by a car. Um, I've gotten him checked at the vet for a microchip and he's not chipped. He, I know his family's missing him. Please share to bump this post. But with these scams on the rise, there's a higher chance a lot of these are not real. Rob says these posts can lead to viruses or just trying to collect your information. They get you to share them hundreds of times until, until it racks up enough shares and then they completely edit all of the content, the photo and the caption to the real scam. There's two things Rob says you want to be on the lookout for. Comments are turned off on the original post. If you click on the picture in the original post and you can't comment on it, that's your first red flag. If you go and look at that profile, it's not a profile, it's a business page and it'll have a category like grocery store, but have a, an individual's name on it and it'll have no activity. On it. She adds, be sure not to share just any post without checking for those signs. In Little Rock, Jalissa Garza, THV 11 News. Thank you, Jalissa. And Rob says there are still legit groups on Facebook that are helping reunite lost pets. And if you find a lost dog or cat, she recommends taking it to a vet directly to see if they have a microchip. Now, yesterday we told you about some big relief centers making their way around the state to help out with tornadoes. After programs were back out today at Shackleford Crossing, helping out whoever comes by. The one stop shops offer legal help and volunteers are helping out to answer whatever questions you may have. One of the groups there, the Arkansas Food Bank, doing what they can to help fill recovery needs. 
We're supplying as much food as we can to help people through this difficult time. It's really a community activity, all the different people in the community coming together to help those in need. The agency moves its efforts to win Arkansas tomorrow. This weekend campaigning for the 2024 Republican nomination was already underway with former President Donald Trump participating remotely at an event in Iowa. But several potential challengers were also making their case for new leadership in the White House and some could formally enter the race this week. Bradley Blackburn has more. And I will continue to fight for our values. Former President Donald Trump spoke via video to the Iowa Faith and Freedom Coalition Saturday night. When we become the very important 47th president of the United States. But some of his potential challengers for the Republican nomination were there in person with the subject of abortion front and center. The Supreme Court didn't turn the issue of abortion over to the states. They turned it over to the American people. Former Vice President Mike Pence says he will finalize his plans within weeks, but former Arkansas Governor Asa Hutchinson will announce his campaign Wednesday. Our best opportunity is to have a new face, uh, someone with uh, consistent conservative leadership. The lies of the left have been disproven by my life. South Carolina Senator Tim Scott is also expected to enter the race, and so is Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, who spoke in Utah Saturday at a Republican event. Leaders take the bull by the horns and make the decisions for themselves. Former President Trump was in Florida rallying supporters at a pizza place. Even as he faces criminal charges in New York and multiple other investigations, he has a powerful hold on some voters. I'm on the Trump train all the way. The GOP nominee is likely to face President Biden in 2024. Multiple sources tell CBS News the president may formally announce his re-election bid this week. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News, New York. Sources tell CBS News that President Biden could announce that as soon as Tuesday via a video message. That is the anniversary of when he announced his 2020 bid for the White House. And this week, Sarah Huckabee Sanders celebrated her 100th day in office. She gave a speech at the governor's mansion, but she also sat down with THV 11's Craig O'Neill. They talked about the troubles of her first 100 days, most notably navigating the aftermath of last month's tornado. Hearing the stories of people huddled up in their homes, my own family huddled in a closet under the stairs about a quarter mile from where the storm hit. It just hits differently. You get all the politics out of the way, all of the partisanship out of the way, and you really just focus on what does this person need and how can I get that to them as quick as possible. Another challenge for her in these first 100 days, a legislative session packed full of bold ideas. She points to education and prison reform as two of her administration's biggest accomplishments, but she admits it wasn't all smooth sailing. Does that mean it was perfect? Absolutely not. Does that mean that we didn't have, you know, our fair of hiccups and like shakeups along the way? You bet. But I think that what we were able to ultimately deliver is really going to bring about the change that most of us ran on and that frankly, I think the people of Arkansas were demanding. And she even talked about advice she would have for former Arkansas Governor Asa Hutchinson as he prepares for a White House bid. Now you can watch that full interview right now on our website at THV11.com. We also have some new restaurants coming to Little Rock. After the break, we'll take a look at the much anticipated grand opening. And a new bridal store is opening soon in Little Rock, but it's a little different. We'll show you why when we come back. But first, Nathan. And you need to pull out the sweaters and jackets this afternoon. It's going to be a chilly start to your Monday. We'll see more sun, but overall, the next several days, temperatures will be well below average. Along with that, we'll have the chance of more rain. Your forecast is coming up.